In the vast land of China, there are many awe-inspiring places imbued with mysterious powers. These enigmatic locations not only bear witness to human civilization but also serve as the origins of countless legends and mysteries. In this episode, we will introduce the seven most mysterious places. In these spots, strange occurrences are frequent, and to this day, no one has been able to unravel their secrets. Kunlun Mountains Since ancient times, Kunlun Mountains has been a highly mysterious presence. They are situated at the junction of Xinjiang, Qinghai, and Tibet, covering an area of over 500,000 square kilometers. According to legends, they are the places where immortals reside. In 1979, remain of a creature resembling a dragon was discovered in Kunlun Mountains. What's even more astonishing was that the skeletal remain appeared to be struck by lightning, prompting thoughts of the ancient Chinese legend of crossing the tribulation to become an immortal. In reality, nestled within the Qinghai Tibet Plateau, the Nar and Gol Valley in Kunlun Mountains region is a breathtaking sight with lush green pastures and crystal clear lakes, resembling a heavenly realm. However, it bears a dreadful name, the Death Valley. People refer to it as the gateway to hell, blocking the passage through Kunlun Mountains. It is said that anyone, be it human or animal, who ventures into this place is likely to meet a gruesome and eerie death, with very little chance of survival. In 1983, a herdsman lost his life while searching for his horse and accidentally ventured into the Death Valley. When people found his body, they saw his face frozen in terror, clutching a hunting rifle as if he had witnessed something horrifying. In fact, as early as 1945, a similar incident occurred in the Death Valley. During that time, the warlord Ma Bufang of the Northwest attempted to march directly to Xinjiang through the Death Valley. As the troops entered the Nar and Gol Valley, suddenly dozens of soldiers were lifted into the air by a mysterious force. After about half an hour, they fell back to the ground, dismembered and without a single survivor. The bloody and horrifying scene terrified Ma Bufang, prompting him to immediately lead the troops to retreat from the Death Valley and take a detour. It is said that the Death Valley possesses a unique magnetic field, often attracting thunderstorms and causing many living beings to perish from electric shocks. However, the true secrets hidden within the Death Valley remain a subject of diverse speculations and debates to this day. Shenong Jia Shenong Jia is one of the most mysterious places in China, located in the northwestern part of Hubei province. In the last century, it gained fame for reported sightings of wild men. Scientists have been conducting scientific expeditions and research on humanoid animals in Shenongjia since 1977. Over the decades, they have received hundreds of eyewitness accounts about wild men. Additionally, scientists have discovered a particularly eerie sinkhole here, known as the Wild Men Cave. In addition, the phenomenon of albinism is another unsolved mystery in Shenongjia. So far, more than 30 species of white animals have been discovered in the Shenong Jia forest area, including white golden monkeys, white squirrels, white spiders, white crows, white bears, white wolves, white snakes, and more. Shenong Jia can be considered the homeland of white animals. Experts also find this perplexing. Lao Yi Temple Waters of Poyong Lake. The Lao Yi Temple Waters of Poyong Lake, located between Dushan County and Lushan City in Jiangxi Province, stretches 24 kilometers in length and 15 kilometers in width. It's a narrow stretch of water that connects Poyong Lake to the Yangtze River outlet. Throughout history, this area has been the most treacherous part of Poyong Lake, with frequent shipwrecks occurring, earning it the nickname China's Bermuda Triangle. What's most remarkable was that various attempts to salvage the wreckage in the past had yielded no results. On April 16, 1945, the Japanese military ship Kobe Maru, loaded with gold, silver, jewelry, antiques, and calligraphy, sank in the waters of Lao Yi Temple. 
all Japanese officers and soldiers on board went missing. Since 1960, more than 100 ships have sunk in this area, including some with a tonnage exceeding 2,000 tons. On August 3, 1985 alone, there were 13 consecutive shipwrecks. Despite the calm appearance of the lake's surface, there is indeed an underlying danger. No Light Alley No Light Alley is located near Gawangling Road in Yangzhou, China. Its actual name is Luosi Jieding, which translates to piling corpses and topping. In May 1645, after General Shi Kefa led Yangzhou soldiers and civilians to stop the Qing army and failed, the Qing army massacred the city of Yangzhou. No Light Alley became the largest slaughterhouse in Yangzhou, where layers of corpses were piled on top of each other, reaching up to the height of the roofs. Local residents say that it's impossible to install streetlights in No Light Alley. Whenever they're installed, they turn off the next day. When walking in the alley, even flashlights inexplicably go off. Any electrical device brought into the alley at night fails to function properly, motorcycles, electric bikes, all need to be pushed. People living nearby are afraid to venture out at night. So, if you encounter someone in no light alley at night, it might not necessarily be a human. Charming Lake Charming Lake is located in the primeval forest of Jialigong Mountain in Yunnan, China. The lake's water remains unchanged throughout the year, even in the midst of howling winds, the surface remains as calm as a mirror without the slightest ripple. However, the remarkable aspect is that if a person stands by the lake and speaks loudly, rain will fall from the previously clear and bright sky above the lake. The louder the speech, the heavier the rain, and the longer the speech, the longer the rain will last. Experts explain that it's possible that there is abundant water vapor over the charming lake, and whenever sound vibrations occur, it might cause the water vapor to condense, resulting in rainfall. However, this is only a speculation. Shuntong Wan Shuntong Wan, located within the Tianzi Mountain Nature Reserve in Songji County, Zhangjiaji City, Hunan Province, is a restricted area. Shuntong Wan is a semicircular and enigmatic deep valley basin. It is surrounded by cliffs on three sides, with only one side of the mountain having a gap that allows for an overlook into the bottom of Shuntong Wan. According to legend, the ancient local hero King Xiang, outnumbered and defeated in battle, fell from his horse in Shuntong Wan. Shuntong Wan is unfathomably deep and shrouded in mystery at times bathed in myriad hues of light and exuding an auspicious air, while other times enveloped in gusts of cold wind and persistent misty rain. Surprisingly, as long as people approach Shantong Wan, they will hear faint sounds of gongs and drums, and people shouting and neighing, as if thousands of troops are fighting fiercely. Especially on the eve of Chinese New Year every year, drums and music are played in Shantong Wan, and people are full of voices, just like thousands of families gather to celebrate the festival. Some people say that King Xiang led all his soldiers to jump into Shantong Wan. The bursts of noise were from King Xiang and all the soldiers celebrating New Year's Eve. In the past, there were people who entered Shantong Wan, but none of them returned. And to this day, no one dares to enter Shantong Wan. Mihundang Mount Vavu in Sichuan, located in Meishan City in the western part of China's Sichuan province, is home to China's largest expanse of virgin forest. The biggest enigma of Mount Vavu is the Mihun Dang located at its summit. Numerous peculiar legends surround this place. Many individuals have attempted to traverse it multiple times, yet all efforts have met with failure. The Mihun Dang of Mount Vavu is situated at a latitude roughly between 29 degrees and 32 minutes to 29 degrees and 34 minutes north. This latitude coincides with the latitude of the Bermuda Triangle and the Egyptian pyramids, earning it the nickname Death Latitude Line among explorers from various countries. Local residents say, Mihun Dang is a realm of wonders within wonders, 
Entering it is no easy feat for survival. On June 13, 1990, a group of seven individuals, including Dr. Andrew Laurie, an advisor from the World Wildlife Fund, entered the heart of the Mihun Dang for investigation. Due to compass malfunctions, their original plan to head west led them to remain in the same spot after walking for a long time. On December 2, 1999, Jung Mingquin, a 33-year-old young scientist, accompanied by local mountain dweller Wei Jimin, went up the mountain and walked into Mihandong. The two quickly lost their way. The latter two walked in different directions, and Wei Jimin went down the mountain the next day. Rescuers found Zheng Mingquan only on the afternoon of the 6th. He was frozen and died unfortunately. Due to the mysterious and eerie nature of Mihun Dang, the local government had no choice but to designate it as a restricted area for tourism. The places mentioned above are mostly mysterious and dangerous, evoking both fascination and fear. Throughout history, amidst various speculations, the truth remains deeply concealed. Perhaps within these layers of enigma lies an unknown force. Thank you for watching.